Good morning, family, uh, church family, the world, whoever look at this. What I want to say in my devotional time and in the time that I have uh, now to uh, reflect and consider and to see and to hear in the physical what's happening around the world. I'm not too concerned. Well, I will have to say I'm not worried about what might happen or what will happen or what even happening. The reason I can say that is because God reminds me continually of his faithfulness towards us all. He loves us. And so... I have to say that in this time, what I have seen and what I, is so many uh, things that we, uh, I can say that this devotion is about because it rose all with God's love, uh, his faithfulness, his goodness, his joy, his peace, his gentleness, his kindness, his long suffering. God has, this is what for me, I must say for me, because sometimes I want to speak for everybody and everybody don't think like I do or consider the things that how I see it. So I have learned that, that, don't try to put everybody in one category or one box or one thought or one, for say, circle. Because actually, we are individual. An individual, what God, I believe, sometimes could for me is that in all my busyness, he knows sometimes what it takes to make me stop and see it from his perspective, from his view. He have to sometimes slow me down completely or slow the pace to get my attention when he's like saying, you focus more on the physical things. You're more focused on what you might be doing and have to do. Yeah, the ministry is good. The ministry is for God. But the ministry should never come before God. Because our relationship, his relationship towards us is most vital, more valuable, more Press, presidential than anything in our life because his love for us is not based on what we do or how we do it and how much we do and no his love is based on the relationship that he has for us, that he, we are his child or we are his creation. And so he, he woos us. He wants that relationship. He wants that time spent with him. And what I do see is Satan be trying to break down the family unit. And now what I see in it all that the restoration, the restoring of unity within people, within families. This is what I see in uh, what God is doing in this time of this uh, virus uh, pandemic. I'm not worried about the pandemic. I am focused more on the goodness of God 
what I see in people, what I see and what is really going on, that people is calling and reaching out and saying hi to people, saying hi to their neighbor, asking the neighbors do they need help, seeing family walking with their children, kids playing out in the street, families going on bike rides, people calling, people writing, each other. That's how it used to be. At least that's how I grew up. Is that we forgot the hospitality, the spirit of hospital, being hospitable. Not when people come to our house, but even when we go out and see people and we pass by people and don't say hello or say hi, you know? So I think what I see is God's faithfulness and love is restoring us back to humanity in unity. And that's where we need to be. I know that's where I need to be because I know that that's, that's the good part. That's the good part. And in limitation, he thinks about, and he says, my soul continue to think of it and is bowed down within me. But this I call to mind, and therefore I have hope. The steadfast love of God, of the Lord's, never cease. His mercy never comes to an end. They are new every morning. Great is his faithfulness. The portion, the Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who wait for him, to the souls that seek him. It is good that one should wait quietly for the salvation of the Lord. God wants that that quiet time, that alone time with us, that life sometimes, we get sometimes too busy to stop and spend that quiet time with him. Not with the music, not with the worship. Those are all good, but just not doing anything. Just sitting and talking to the Holy Spirit. And ask the Holy Spirit, what is it that he wants? So, as we have this heart and this quiet time, let's spend that time with the Holy Spirit asking, what is it that you want us to see? What is it that you want us to know? He is our comforter. Lay in his lap, in his arm, and let him comfort. Let him assure you that all will be well with us. And trust. Just trust him. And everything will be well with you and with me. God bless you continuously. And make this a blessed day every day for yourself, for others. But at the same time, don't forget to spend that quality time with God. Because that's where the real blessing and that is the enabling us to be able to go through the day. His grace and mercy carries us. It goes with us. So, love you and God bless you. Be safe in this time because God is with you. 
He is with us. Emmanuel. Amen. Talk to you later.